Welcome back to part three of creating a designer MS tag. I'm Philip Warbass with Warbass Design Studios in Santa Monica, California. Creating a mobile experience that works is just as important as creating a tag that works. Let's look at how to create a successful user experience behind the tag. We'll begin the same way we did to build the tag, with collateral. So let's go ahead and take our heart-shaped candy and alter the hue so it's a little more in line with the rest of our design. And finally, we'll add a little text. Well, here she is. This is the girl that I've been working so hard on this project for. And she's worth it. And this is actually collateral too because it's a picture that I'm going to put into the interface. So let's go ahead and add that. Now, she loves Soma FM, which is an online, an internet radio station. And there are a few channels in particular that she listens to all the time. So what I'm going to do is take uh, the icons from those channels and include them into the interface uh, that the tag is going to point to. And along with the icons, of course, I'm going to include the links to the streams so that she can listen to Soma FM on her phone. Now that I have all my collateral, I'm going to start to integrate it into a mobile landing page. If you're not familiar with how to develop code for mobile pages, go to plushms.mobi forward slash valentine. View the source code that I wrote to create this mobile landing page and copy and save it for yourself. You can change out a few lines of code and create your own Valentine's Day interface. Okay, the first thing that you'll notice here is that the doc type declaration is a little bit different than what you would um, come across on a standard uh, HTML page optimized for the web. Uh, in addition to that, there are some meta tags that are included here that help the page uh, become mobile friendly. And I've also included the style tags into this page itself so that it's easier for people who are new to this kind of development to understand. Okay, moving on to the body of the page, you'll notice that I just use one div tag after another to keep the content separated and organized, and I let the style sheets work their magic on the text and the links. So, after scanning the tag, the interface that pops up on the smartphone should look a little something like this.